Welcome to tonight's Five on Five. The guest is Debbie Vogt, founder of Citizens for Safe Schools. Thank you very much for joining us. Nice to be here. Tell me about a pretty, pretty big conference you have coming up. Tell us all about it. Huge conference. Well, um, the Oregon Community Foundation has something called the Regional Action Initiative. There are seven regions throughout Oregon. Each of them was given a million dollars to spend in their region on programs they thought would really help educate young people, enhance their educational prospects. So our region, Jackson, Klamath, Josephine, and Lake Counties, decided that they wanted to invest their funds in mentoring specifically, but positive youth development in general. They really understood that investing in young people early helps them reach their educational goals, and as a result, really does help the economy long term. So they um, asked those of us in the region to put on a conference that we're now calling Investing in Youth for Economic Recovery and Prosperity. Long name there. Long name. <laughs> Specifics of it. What are they going to learn? What, who's going to benefit from this? Okay. Well, lots for folks to learn that will enable them to help young people. We're hoping that we get health, business, education professionals there. Some of the conference titles are um, Why Do Teenagers Act That Way? Um, solving conflict peacefully and improving communication. We've got some workshops about um, ending poverty and the reliance on social services. We have a conference on mitigating stress with uh, mindfulness and other tools because we know that stress is one of those things that gets in everybody's way of learning. And who are some of the people that you would like to see at this conference that to maybe, you probably have talked to a few, but who they, you would really say, hey, they're going to benefit, they should come? Okay. Well, the usual suspects will be there anyway, educators and social service folks, but who we really want to be here are people in the business community and in the health and wellness community. One of our keynote speakers, a really amazing guy, is a doctor, and he's going to talk to us about something, and maybe we can mention it in a minute, um, that will relate specifically to our health professionals and our business professionals. All right, we'll get to that in just a second. So stick around. We're five on five right after the break. Welcome back to the Five on Five. The guest is Debbie Vogt, founder of Citizens for Safe Schools. We're talking about investing in youth for economic recovery and prosperity. It's a conference coming up. Tell me about the keynote speaker. Great keynote speaker. His name is Dr. Robert Anda. He's world renowned for a study called the ACE study. ACE stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences. It's the largest scientific study of its kind. And in short, what it tells us is that there are adverse traumatic, if you will, experiences that um, children, potentially some, go through. And there's a list of 10 that are really big. His findings suggest that the more adverse childhood experiences one has, the more likely one is to develop these risk behaviors that lead to causes of death. For instance, someone with four or more traumatic childhood experiences is seven times more likely to be a smoker, four times more likely to be an alcoholic, 10 times more likely to have attempted suicide, and 12 times more likely to be or have injected street drugs. So what, why in this, this is so important is because all of those risk behaviors lead to the causes of disability and death that drain our healthcare system, $120 billion a year. So if we intervene or better prevent these adverse childhood experiences, we don't impact the healthcare system and consequently the economy near the way we are currently. So he's got some amazing findings and statistics and we know that people will be um, very impacted to hear what he has to say. So when we're looking at this from an economic standpoint, it's not investing just in the youth for their economic future, it can also benefit the recovery as we speak today. Absolutely, and that's the point. If we care about our recovery economically, we have got to do something now and continue to do it with regard to helping young people be more healthy. 
All right, let's quickly give out the information. So grab a pen and take it down. You've been listening, you want it. Uh, give us the uh, website number where people can okay. contact. One of the major partners in putting this together is Oregon Mentors. So folks can go to OregonMentors.org, get all the information about the conference, registration, or they can call 541-882-3198. Perfect, so write those down if you want to attend the conference, want to learn more. Thank you so much, Debbie, for joining yeah, me. I appreciate thanks, it. Okay. All right, that's it for the Five on Five. More news right after the break.